Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Hi, Kurt. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Um, today, who is today? Um, we're gonna do uh 50 minutes of cardio. I don't think we've ever done 50 minutes, right? We usually do 30 minutes, or we did 40 minutes once, I think, or twice, or one hour. So today. First timer, I think maybe I fuck. Maybe I, I don't. Remember. Maybe I'm I'm wrong because like we did so many workouts, I might just have forgotten. But it's 50 minutes of cardio, so not a whole hour, but more cardio than 30 minutes, so that we can get nice and warm. Um, let's do the Instagram story first. And yeah, one thing we're gonna be using a step for Guten Morgen, Sasha. Wie geht's dir? Danke schön. We're gonna be using the step uh, for the first part of the cardio, right? We might be using a chair, so it's handy to have a step at hand uh, and have a chair, right? A chair. Um, or if you don't have one of the two, you could be doing the exercise that we do on the step on a chair, but on a chair, obviously it's harder because if we do stuff, we like step up on the step board like this, right? Uh, it's harder to do that on a chair, right? Because you have to get up higher or maybe your chair is teeny tiny but who knows sehr schön sehr schön Marty. Ah, so let's do the instagram story guys let's do the instagram story ah that's it's wrong it's wrong instagram i just opened the cam I just opened the cam. So, there we go. Da -da 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 -da. Ich kann es wirklich nicht leiden, wenn man immer die gleichen Sachen fragt, muss ich dir ganz ehrlich sagen. Ich weiß, dass du die Bauchrolle gerne siehst und wenn du im Chat bist, bin ich auch geneigt, die Bauchrolle zu tun, weil wir machen sie ja öfters mal. Aber wenn immer die dritte, vierte Nachricht immer wieder die gleiche ist, ich muss einfach ehrlich sein und sagen, es missfällt mir. Ja. Okay, so. Live now. Du, 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 du. Was ich damit sagen will, ist, wenn du in den Chat kommst, mache ich wahrscheinlich schon die Bauchrolle, weil ich weiß, du machst sie gerne und wir können auch mal gerne die Bauchrolle machen, aber wie gesagt, immer die gleichen Sachen fragen ist halt, äh, wir sind hier nicht bei Wünsch dir was. So, Instagram Story is published. Is published, right? Right, right, right. Let's drink something, let's hydrate some tea. And yeah, if you have a step board, grab that step board. Hi, Richard.
You're like nobody else. Hydrate. Tea is a good thing to drink for these two, for the temperatures being a bit lower. It's not that cold actually, but it's cold, colder than it was last week. Okay. So, belly roll. Pew. Actually, it's a body roll, right? Anyway, it's not a belly roll because I don't know how to do a belly roll. People just do that with their belly, like ah. Uh, it's something I don't know how to do. It. I can just do a body roll, which is like with a full body. Anyway, um, let's start with the warm up. Uh, you don't need the step board for the warm-up. You don't need the step board for the whole workout. You could, uh, and hi, easy, by the way. Hi, easy, welcome. Did you write Privyat? Privyat. It's like the only Russian thing I can say. Is it Russian? Probably other languages too. Um. So, you don't need the step board to stop, but let's roll our wrists here, right? Roll them. I keep on moving. <laughs> Two, roll, roll, roll. Other side. Well, we're rolling the wrist. I'm kind of moving my body as well. You don't have to. You could be, you could be doing some prances here if you wanted to. You don't have to be on the step board. Then let's swing back. I'm just on the step board to be in the middle of the uh, screen. Back, 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 Roll or circle your arms, right? And yeah, we're going to do uh, 50 minutes of cardio. And after the 50 minutes of cardio, we are going to do a full body workout, right? So we're going to hit everything. Take it out. Hinge forward with a straight back if you can. Move your hips on side to side here, stretching the back part of your leg. Ah. And up, hip circles, circle your hips towards. One side doesn't matter which way you start because we're gonna switch it out. Now, other side. Mew. Now let your arms slide down the sides of your legs here. Woo! Gracias. And now. Extend that movement with your arms, shoulders stay down, by the way. If you cannot bend all the way sideways, halfway like this is okay too, right? You don't have to go that low. As long as you feel a nice stretch in your side here. Circle your shoulders. Boom, boom. Other way around. Oh yeah, and another prop that comes in handy if you have it. If you have a band, right? We're gonna be using uh, probably we're gonna be using a band, right, to train our shoulders a little bit later. So if you have a band or something else that's stretchy, doesn't have to be a band, can be a shirt, can be whatever. Okay. So have that at hand. Let's do some prances. So we're lifting one heel of the mat. And then the other one, right? 
We've never ever are both heels on the mat and we're not like making like moving our hips like that, right? We're not dancing or anything. Up and down, hip bones stay square. We're not uh, swaying with the hip. Hi Omari, welcome! Take it out! Okay, anyway, let's start! The cardio. So, 50 minutes it is. We start with the step board. We're not gonna use the step board all the way through, so if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Just do the exercises on the mat or on the floor. It's not gonna be as hard with the step board, but it's still a possibility. One minute each exercise, and we're starting now. There we go. The first minute, we're just marching, right? We're just marching in place. Doesn't matter if you have the step board or not, right? For now, you can you can march down. You don't have to march on the step board. I'm just doing that, so I'm in the middle here. Better take my socks off in a second, I think. All right, just wearing them when I still have to walk back and forth a lot because the tile's already cold. Marching. You can always come back to marching in place uh, if you feel like anything is too hard for you. Um, or doing a step tap, right? A step tap or piece like that. Don't stop for the 50 minutes. Try to push through, to move throughout the whole 50 minutes. But yeah, you don't have to go high impact. You don't have to do anything so hard. So, now I'm gonna take out the socks and we're gonna start the first move. That's like one single sided. So, we're gonna step up, up, down, down. Always stepping up with the same side. So we do one minute on that side, then we do the other side. And that doesn't seem like much, but if you do that for quite a while, I tell you it's getting harder um, because it's kind of like going upstairs, right? We're, going we're walking up some stairs, but we're just going one stair up and then down again. But it's still, we're going, we might be going down again, but then we go up, right? And we go up again. So after a while, you'll notice that. Although we always get a quite a breather when we can when we go down. Keep breathing and march it. And we have five more seconds and then we're gonna switch sides and we're gonna walk. Use the other leg. Now the other one. I'm using my left one now to step up with if you're mirroring me you're using the right one uh, but yeah it really doesn't matter as long as you keep switching sides uh when we have to and good morning jay by the way did i say that maybe i did not if i didn't i'm sorry Mouse is here too, it's a nice, so we have a support cat. You can do every exercise without a support cat though. Although the support cat makes everything better, obviously, right? This is a fact. We come to the side after this one and we step up sideways, right? So. Up, up, down, down. Bam, ba, ba, dum, ba, ba, dum. Woo! And you can add your arms. You could even be adding weights, ankle weights or weights in your hands, right? If you had weights here, would be a slight, or even a hard arms workout, depending on the weights you're using, right? If you want to. 
But since we're gonna do this for 50 minutes, you don't need to use weights now. We're gonna work those arms. Promise. And up and down. About 15 seconds to go. And then we turn around. I would usually do it on the other side, but since Mouse is there, I'm just gonna turn around. And then you get to see my backside. I'm oh, sorry. Three, two, one. And other side. Bam, up and down. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. And up and down, up and down. And yeah, if you would be using a chair for that, it would be way harder because I guess your chair would be higher than the step board. But that's not holding you back, is it? Shouldn't be. And you can always go your pace, right? If you feel like anything is too fast, just go slow or just come back to marching in place for a moment to catch your breath and then jump back in once you're ready. About 17 seconds to go. Mm -hmm. Up and down, up and down. The next exercise we're gonna do is not being single-sided, it's gonna train both sides equally. So we step up here with the outer leg, high knee and the inner leg, down, down, outer leg, high knee, right? So we're stepping from side to side and then move. Yeah, we're just training both sides equally. So if you have a step board, this is a cool move that you can be doing while you're watching TV or doing it and listening to music or whatever and you don't want to uh, have a timer around to see how long you do each side because we're just working each, you're just working both sides equally. And up and down. Bam, bam. And we are almost six minutes in right not much right not much six minutes of uh, 50 minutes oh well we're still feeling good right it's not too hard we're not completely out of breath so next thing single side as well so double side as well so we step up we lift the leg out to the side and same thing so we do both sides here right Inner leg up, outer leg out, down, down, other side, right? And again, this is one of the moves you can be doing indefinitely. Or how long you want in front of a TV while you're listening to something while you're, I don't know, or your mind is somewhere else because you're going to train both sides equally anyway. And up. Up. Whenever you're thirsty, go hydrate, right? We're gonna, we're gonna group hydrate as well. But if you feel like you need something now, don't hesitate. It's very important to quench your thirst. Okay, the next thing, also both sides equally. Instead of a high knee, we're kicking out now. All right, so kick. Kick, and it doesn't matter what you do with your arms. You could be using your arms like this, right? or just have them at your side. Completely up to you. Woo. And up. And kick. 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 The nice thing about the step board, as well as that it's usually, it's, I mean, you can make it high impact, but there's a lot of things you can do low impact, but it can still be high intensity. And the constant going up and down is a really good workout. Just like chair workouts, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're up here and we're stepping down and down, right? So we keep alternating sides. Stepping down on one side and then on the other side. So this is also a move where you train both sides equally. Next move is gonna be single-sided again. Whew. Eight minutes.
in it and 30 seconds in and down and down i hope you're feeling a little bit sweaty already i for sure am and down and down down and down 15 seconds down wow and i feel that i'm kind of a little bit out of breath like not completely out of breath but slightly okay now up and down here and we be on one side all the time and i don't want you to push up with the leg that's down there you can put all the way down but i want you to use solely that leg that's up on the on the uh on the step to pull the other leg up right you're just working that leg the other leg just there to put it down and it's just an extra way that you're pulling up here up 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 you could be doing that on a yoga block as well by the way this exercise although when you use yoga block you have to of course think more about balance because it's smaller and it might be a bit wobbly but you can definitely use a yoga block to do that exercise up five seconds once more switch sides down and up so close 10 minutes in after that we're gonna hydrate we're gonna march in place and hydrate Woo. up up Keep breathing. Twenty seconds. So close to the hydration. And isn't that a good warm up? Wait, I feel so warmed up. I feel like my pulse is up, but it's not high impact. It's not hard on the joints. And still a good workout. Two, one. Okay, march in place and hydrate. <sighs> if you feel like it, and you hydrate it, and you feel like marching in place is not enough, you could jump slightly from side to side or duck in place, right? It's just the workout to your needs, to what you want. Twenty seconds, and then you're gonna use the step board again. The step board again. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Next thing, single-sided again. Your feet are together here. And then you step out, out, in, in, right? I think it's called an A-step in aerobics. So it's kind of like the step up, but this time we're stepping out to one side to the other. And we're starting always with one side. I'm starting with my right here. So if you mirror me, you're gonna be using your left, but it doesn't really matter which way you start because after that minute, we're gonna do that on the other side. So to the, to the, to the edges, one edge, the other edge, middle, down, right? And the middle, we go down and we step up onto the edges, right? Woo! Up, up, in, in. And we have about 15 seconds to go. And then we got to do the other side. And yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is called an A-step in aerobics. But I haven't been doing it in aerobics class in like... 20 years, so I don't know for sure. Okay, other side. Up, up, down, down. Keep moving. 
We are almost, or we are 13 and a half minutes into this workout. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Next thing is high impact if you want it. If you don't want to do high impact, you just step up and down again. You just do the normal step up, step down. But if you feel like high impact, jump up and down. Other leg, <laughs> jump up and down. This is really hard. Up and down. Change legs. Up and down. Up and down. Other side. Woo! And down. <sighs> Up and down. Don't hurt yourself, right? Up and down. It's hard to jump up just on one leg here. Down. Other side. Up. Down. Yes. Hi, gas mask. Up. Down. Woo! Up. Down. Up. Woo. One floor. Up. Down. Okay, now legs wide and up, up, down, down. Right? We're walking up and down, but like we're always staying out here. So we're always in this wide stand. Woo. Up, up. And out. You can add those arms. Out. Woo. Out. Out. As I usually do, acknowledge people in the chat. Out. Out. Arms up. And in. Good morning, Sage. Welcome. Out. Out. We're going to the other side after that. Oh, out. Oh, we have to stay out here. Wait, I walked in. Woo. I, I fucked up my own move. Well, up, in, arms up, and in. You don't have to use the arms, right? But you can. Thank you. Out and in, arms up, to the sides or in. If you're using weights, it's gonna be harder. But yeah, no need to use weights here uh, because we're gonna be doing, <laughs> you know what to do. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I wasn't sure about that. I thought probably, but better to say that. <laughs> Out and in. Let's go. Malti, what you doing there? Just like chilling. Woo. Woo. In. Out. Out. And out. 10 seconds. Woo. One more high impact. This time jump up, both feet, and jump down. And again, if you don't want to jump, you just step up, step down, other side, step up, step down, right? Keep alternating sides. Woo! And as you can see, I'm taking breaks here, right? You don't have to jump through. You can take a break here, and then break before you go down. Step. Make sure to use your knees when you land, try right, to soften that jump. You don't want to hurt your knees. So down and up. Right to kind of getting down underneath. You're bending your knees when you land to soften that blow. Whew. Down. Whew. Up. Down. Whew. Whew. Yeah. Okay, next thing. Uh, we're gonna do squats. One leg up here, the other one down. And then we squat. It's just like a basic squat, except that one foot is up here. So we're going to train one leg more than the other. Obama is hinging back. Weight is in the heels. And we hinge forward with a straight back. Whew, so out of breath. Ah, sorry. 
my brain is not working correctly, maybe I'm saying weird stuff. Ah, I feel so, I feel so exhausted. But in a good way, in a good way. Oh, hi, Johnny. When I'll come to Colombia, I don't know. One day, probably. I would like to see Colombia. Me gustaría mucho ver Colombia. Que tiene pinta de ser un país muy bonito. Down and up. Down and up. And we're gonna switch sides. Other side. Down and up, right? Down and up. Weight is in the heels. Back is hinging forward and it's straight. We're moving the bum back. Try not to lock that knee that's on the floor. And we're up there, but we try to squeeze those glutes. Whew. I keep that in mind. No, I think I will I will go there one day. Like I wanna I wanna go to South America again. Like I've never been to, to Colombia, but I've been to Brazil. And I would like to like go to South America again. Yeah. In more countries, especially now that I do speak Spanish, wouldn't make sense to visit all those countries where I can actually use that. Woo. And we have not even 10 seconds left. Bam, bam. So let's get rid of, of that thing here and we hydrate again. 20 minutes in, 30 minutes to go. March in place, drink. Hi Toby, welcome. If you feel that you can take it up a notch, instead of marching in place once you're hydrated, jump or jock in place, right? For those last 25 seconds. To keep that heart rate up. Why wait with hydrate? Yes, hydrate is hydration is important. Maltzi knows that. She's hydrating all the time. <laughs> okay. Jump, jump. Come back here. And we're going to do one of my favorites, the inchworm. So we're standing here at the end of the mat. We lean, we hinge forward, we walk out into a plank and we come back up again. Plank um, is a move where you try to create a straight line with your body, right? So try to do that. If it's too, if you cannot do that, work on the plank. Because this is not a plank, this is not a plank, this is a plank, right? A nice high plank where you push the palms into the mat, shoulders away from ears. And when you walk out here, you can have your legs straight, by the way, but if you have to bend them, it doesn't matter. You can do that. Um, because if you're not, Flexible enough to walk out with straight legs. Yeah, that's totally normal. And up. And up. Ba -da -ba. You're gonna add on to that, right? So we're gonna add on if you want to, the next minute. Instead of just holding the high plank here, you could be doing a push up and walk up again. But this is completely optional, so if you feel like a push-up uh, is not accessible to you. Just hold the high plank, just hold that here. Or you could be doing a push-up on your knees, right? This is a cardio session and I'm giving you like ideas what you can do, but you can always go for alternative, alternative moves. And you always have to adjust every exercise to your fitness level and your daily, uh, your, the way you feel today. <sighs> Oh, right, because some days we're more tight, some days we're sore, some days we are full of energy. So I always suggest that. Can you say hello for you? What do you mean, Johnny? Like, how, how, how to say hello for you? I did say hello to you, didn't I? Didn't I say hello? Hola, buenos dias. Ah. Okay, we're done already with that one. Then, arms up here, and twist, twist. Twist, twist, right? Twist and twist. Trying to bring the opposite elbow to the knee. I don't know why, but my calf is itchy. Itchy and scratchy. No, scratchy is not, it's itchy. 
probably cat hair, right? You can't control cat hair, it's everywhere. It's gonna take over the world. Or maybe cockroaches will one day. We'll find out. Or not. <laughs> and twist. Twist and twist. Using those obliques here. Also the uh, hip flexors. <sighs> Twisting the torso slightly. And lifting the knee up. <sighs> Few more seconds. And then we're gonna do a similar exercise, but first. Stretch your calf if you have to. So, and then arms up here, right? And then try to bring those elbows again close to the knees, just that your arm position is different now. Ooh, thank you, Jenny. Up and up. What about chest? chest? Whew. Are you out of breath already? A little bit? A little bit maybe? 25 seconds to go. What about chest? Twist and twist. Bam. Bap. Bap bap. So gonna do single-sided exercises again we start one side then the other high knee to the side and we do that slowly now for 30 seconds and the second part of the minute if you want to you can speed it up but yeah you don't have to of course you can always do everything your pace that's how we do it for one minute you can choose how many reps you do throughout the minute how fast you go how slow uh, and if it's too hard, just march in place for a minute or two and join back in. Okay, faster now. Da -da -da -da. Pull. Pull in. You could do that even faster jumping, right? But we don't, I don't have to. Bam, bam, bam. In, 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 and in. We have five seconds and then the other side. And one, other side, let's go. Slow. This feels super slow now, right? Because we did the first side already, the first part. So this feels like slow-mo. <sighs> Gonna be doing some ankle. Mobility after that, ankle and knee mobility, right? Single sided as well. We're gonna speed it up in two, one, let's go. Gracias. Bueno, aquí, aquí en YouTube, lo soy un poquito, ¿no? Haciendo los entrenos y tal, pero bueno. Vamos a ver dónde llegamos. El canal está creciendo bastante estos últimos meses porque también le estoy dando caña. Así que veremos a dónde llevamos. ¿A dónde lleguemos? En unos meses. <laughs> and okay. Knee exercise. Hi, Iceberg. Welcome. So, what we do here, we come down, so on the mat, that leg in front. You can have your hands back here, and then you tap the knee down and back. And you could be doing that hands free all the way down, but you can use your hands as well. This exercise aims to improve your ankle flexibility and your knee strength, right? Hi, Ramsey, welcome. Woo, down, so up and down. But yeah, if you're using your hands here like that, perfect, you can do it like that. The important thing is to feel how we work that ankle. Woo. <laughs> Two, one, other side, all right, other side, so same thing, we can do that with our hands, maybe start using your hands, to go back and forth, you're always tapping that knee down on the mat here, bam, and then once you get the gist of it, you can try to do it without hands, or I mean, I'm using my hands to create momentum here, right, just like 
It's like swimming, kind of. You're using those hands, reaching to the front, swimming. But yeah. Huh. So it's not hands-free, but it's not hands on the floor. I mean, some people, they are able like, to do it without, like, even using momentum with their arms, which is harder still. Gonna get there one day. Back. If this hurts your knee, though, don't do it, right? If you have bad knees, this might not be the right exercise for you. Always listen to your body. Okay. And now, let's get up again. Just basic squat, but more or less basic squat. Tapping down on the floor. So your bum goes back. Weight is in the heels. We try to keep the back straight. If you can touch the floor, touch the floor. If you cannot touch the floor, it doesn't matter. Knees aligned with your toes. And down. Down. Squeeze the bum while you're up there, but don't lock those knees. Let's see, welcome back. In and out. Down and up. About 10 seconds to go. And then we are already 30 minutes in, so just 20 minutes to go. Woo! Okay. Next thing, one of the things I also like a lot, we're gonna shift from down dog, right? This is a down dog. Arms aligned with our back, back straight, legs straight, maybe the heels on the floor, maybe not. We'll be on a down dog. And the plank. Right, shifting from a plank into the down dog. After that exercise, I want you to grab your band. If you don't have a band or something else that's stretchy, like a shirt or some stretchy leggings or something, and you can do it like hands-free or with a towel, for example, that's not stretchy as well. Right? You don't technically need something stretchy, but with something stretchy is easier. Or you just do it without. Without it's not gonna be as hard, but it's still uh, better than not doing anything. Four, three, two, one. So, Martin plays. Grab your band or your whatever and then all the way back and to the front. If you're not at flex that flexible, maybe grab the band further out or just go halfway, right? Just going halfway like this is fine too. But if you can, go all the way. Whew. Going through the uh, moving visual. Actually, she's not fat no more. I called her the fat cat when she was younger. Because she was like seven kilograms, but now she's four kilograms. So technically she's not fat. She's normal weighted now, but she has a lot of fur. She has more fur than a usual cat. Whew. Back and forth. She lost a lot of weight during these last years. Now she can like wear her bikini again in summer and she, she looks gorgeous. More better. Yeah, that's true. Now, arms in front here, pulling out. Yeah, she's putting, she was like 3.6 kilograms like two months ago. Now she's on four again because now she's like probably like preparing for the winter. You can't, you don't have to march in place and you could be standing, but it's better if you march because then you're not gonna get cold. Whew. Si tiene la vida buena, es una gatita, es una, es una, es una señora, ya. Yeah? Una señora mayor, la verdad, que ya tiene unos 16, 17 años, así que... <laughs> Woo! So, out here, right? And you're marching. And if you do that here, you should be feeling that in your shoulders. Next minute, we're gonna lift this band up over our head and do that there. Wow, I do feel a burn, right? It's not a hard exercise. If you do it just for 10 seconds, but doing that for a minute and always keeping tension on the band, right? This is like the key. Never ever like give all the tension. Now you're up over your head, your shoulders are not up here, your shoulders are down away from your ears and you're pulsing out and there's always tension on the band, right? Always. Keep pulsing out. While you're marching or, I mean, you could be doing a step tap as well, right? 
no need to march tap tap whatever you can just keep it just move a little bit i feel like it's better to move than just to stand still to keep that heart rate up but yeah the important thing is to do that with a with our arms here 20 seconds to go and then we're gonna move it down behind our backs and pulls it out there and that's gonna be fun i tell you you can even like tap in front tap tap a bit of coordination here tap, tap. trust tap cross tap while we're pulsing out and now behind and out here right out there this is the hardest part still get part you can also cross here. Bam, bam, bam. Pulse out and out. And not even halfway through and I'll feel that burn. Shoulders down, by the way, right? Shoulders away from the ears. Pulse out. Out, out. Keep breathing, keep pushing. Bum, bum, da, da, da. We're hitting all those small muscles here. Woo! Almost done. And five, four, three, two, one. And up here, anchor that shoulder. I'm not up down here, and the other arm goes up and down. How many languages do you speak? Well, I speak German, English, and Spanish. I do understand Catalan pretty good and I'm learning Catalan now like also to speak it because writing is right and speak it and Catalan is like I don't know if you know that it's a, like a language that they speak in Spain in where I live in Spain it's an official language as well it's a it's a, it's a language that's like similar like you said a lot of similarities with Spanish and with French and yeah hi Ari welcome I don't understand you because I do speak English, Spanish, and German. Also, I'm learning Japanese, but like I'm really bad at that, so I don't speak that or anything. But I'll keep learning bit by bit, and in 10 years, I might be able to speak actually something, and then I will go to Japan for, I don't know, a longer vacation and see if that actually worked out. I'm inside. So I find it always very cool to learn new languages. So maybe someday I'm gonna go some other place that's like not Spain and learn another new language. Let's see. It's cool to go places and learn languages. I also did speak Portuguese when I was younger, but my Portuguese now kind of like merged with Spanish because I've been here for 10 years and my Portuguese is it's not non-existent, but it's really bad. So I would have to speak, I think, for a few days with people in Portuguese to be able to speak Portuguese again. But I learned Spanish really fast because I was speaking Portuguese before, so. Yes. See. This is muy mona. It is una monana, bebe. But she's very grumpy. You only know one, but times of others as well. Yeah, well, it's always nice like, to learn some other languages. It's very interesting as well, I think, because a lot of to do with culture and how a language is constructed and stuff. We're done with the band, by the way, now. So, band away. And step tap or whatever and hydrate. 37 minutes in, so about 30 minutes to go. Ah. You get out of swing back of those arms, swing back. You're gonna do single leg, uh, single side leg exercise again? After this one? Yeah, that's true. So you actually speak some Spanish as well, I guess, right? In California, there's a lot of there's a lot of Mexicans, isn't there? So, depending on where you're at, there, out here, and then. You come all the way down onto the mat and you can help yourself to come up with your hands if you want to or you just uh, or you just leave it uh, or you just do it without hands. Ah! 
Can you pronounce? Maybe I can, but since I don't know what it means, I'm not gonna say it. Woo! Ah. And up. Down. This is also ankle, hip, and uh, yeah, ankle and hip mobility a lot here. Nice pole. Huh. Other side. This is my bad side. Try to keep that leg fairly straight, by the way. Oof. Oh, well, uh. Uh. Huh. wow, 20 seconds to go still. That go, oh, the time goes by really slow right now. Uh. Up, up, up. No, okay. Of my life. Ah. Okay. Next thing, you either do low impact jumping jacks like that, or you do the high impact jumping jacks with me. Sag es mir, lieber nicht. Heißt doch was Schlimmes? Papa. Okay, ja. Ich sag eh nie, was die Leute, wenn die mir was in einer Fremdsprache sagen, ich soll es sagen, dann ist es meistens äh, was Dummes. Warum sollen die sonst das sagen? Jump. Jump. Woo. 20 seconds to go. Woo. Woo. 15 seconds. Jump, jump, jump. Da, da, da. Okay, now the next thing. Maybe it's gonna be hard. Match a place for a moment. Oh, Jimmy, gracias. Woo. Hands down here on the mat. And then lift one leg up and the other one. Maybe wider stance. Up and up. And I know that it looks easier than it is. If you do that, you notice that you kind of. I struggle here. I struggle here a lot with my hip flexibility, right? So this is why it's a good thing. Train that. Up. 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 How hard is that? Up. Up. Whew. Whew. Gonna read that in a second. Concentration. <laughs> Concentrate to keep my legs up here. Up. Oof. Oof. Okay, next thing up here. You either like lift your legs like this or you do the high impact version. Oh, gracias. This is Cali, huh? Muchas gracias. Hi, Gothic Greens. You can say good cold. Oh, then I hope you get better soon. Or are you better already if you say you've been sick? Keep jumping. Or if you don't want to jump, you can do with the low impact version. And we have eight minutes to go. Well, actually, seven minutes to go. Seven minutes to go, and then we're done with this cardio. Okay, next thing, single sided again, we, we're here, tuck. we're gonna do a lunge and a high knee. Step back, lunge and high knee. Make sure that you tuck your toe when you do the lunge, right? You don't wanna do this 
We want to do this. Up. Lunge. And it doesn't have to be super low. Right? Up and down. Nice and control. If you have problems with your balance, you could hold onto your power tower to a wall. Good chair. Up. Yeah. And I, I suspect that this is my good side, so the next side is gonna be harder. Oh well. It is, but it is. Other side, last week, okay. Oh no, that's already annoying. Ooh, I get really sick. Up. Uh, I just ignore it when I get sick. I just say, well, I'm not, I don't accept that. <laughs> Up. And back. Woo. Down. Keep that back heel tucked. Woo. Woo. Up. And down. Nice and controlled. If you're struggling a lot with balance, look at some point in front of you that's not moving and try to focus on that point and then usually it's get e it get, gets easier to keep that balance. Once more. Whew. Okay, next thing, slow mountain climbers. Hands on the mat, we're in the high plank and we pull in those knees. Right, you can go uh, fast of course, but it's totally fine to go slow. We've been working out for such a long time already, right? We deserve that, going slow. Shoulders away from ears, wrist underneath the shoulders, pulling in one knee and then the other. And we have 30 seconds to go. In, in, and in. Bam, bam, bam. Keep breathing. I'm gonna read the chat when I come up, right? I don't wanna crane my neck now too much. In, in, and in. Seven seconds. Keep breathing. And up. Now, you can either twist march or twist jump. Right? I'm gonna twist jump closer and let Mouty out. She wants to leave. There you go, Mouty. Up. Leave. Okay. She's out. All right. Chest jump. After that, three more minutes. So close to the end of the cardio session and then full body fun. Today, a friend is coming around to do a pole dance here at home. So I will set up the pole here. So we might be doing a pole stream on Friday. I don't know yet, but the possibility, uh, there's the possibility. Okay, grab your imaginary jump rope and either march in place with that or jump rope. All right, jump rope. We're so close to the end, we can do some high impact here. Jump, jump, jump. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. So good. Feels so good. 20 seconds to go. Jump. Or march. Adjust the workout to your need. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Now, what jumps? But the easy version. So we go down, jump, stop. Right, you know the drill. And the last 15 seconds, we're going to start to do, to make it more like fluent. So to jump right into the next squat. Now we just squat, we jump up into a standing position. 
And we squat again. And we jump up, right? Up. And down. If you don't want to jump, you can just do normal squats, obviously. Up. 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 Now we're going to do the whole thing through. So, we jump from one squat into the next. I know that's super hard, but that's how we just do it for 15 seconds. You can do that. Once more. Last minute. Last minute. So, twist, jump here. Twist, little flex. Twist, it's another kind of a twist jump. Just a twisted leg jump. Right? If you don't want to do that, you tap. You tap. Your foot in front. Let's go. Woo. Jump. Twist. Jump. 30 seconds to go. Well, 25 actually. Keep breathing. Keep pushing. Last 15 seconds. And we're done with the cardio. Woo! 50 minutes. Still good. Five, four, three, 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 two, one. Ay, 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 march in place. Made it. Jump. Woo! Oh, yeah, let's do 10 of those. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop the timer. Stop the timer. Okay, there we go. Watch him, please. Fifty minutes. It is. March in place or do a step tap, right? Whatever. Just don't collapse onto the floor. Keep moving. We don't want that heart rate to drop. Right now, if you feel like um, this was enough already, 50 minutes of cardio is enough, right? It's a good thing. You can just lean back, go watch a day, just watch the stream, do other stuff, whatever. Keep it running though, right? And lurking. Um, but yeah, if you feel like more of a workout, uh, let's do a full body workout now. More strength stuff with weights or without weights, a lot of things. And um, yeah, let's march. Yeah, let's march, let's move a little bit. Drink something. Oh, I should have some tea, nice. And let's stretch quickly. For the ones who want to stop here. So we come to the end of the mat, we shake out everything. We hinge forward, ideally with a straight back, maybe not. If you have to bend your knees, you bend your knees, walk out into a down dog. Aligning your arms with your upper body. Your back is straight, legs are straight. Maybe you can bring the heels to the mat. Stay a little bit, pushing those palms into the mat so that you feel a nice stretch in your shoulders. Then one leg comes to the front in a deep lunge, bounce down. One arm goes up, chest open, and then twist it back a little bit, down, other side, bounce. Arm up, chest open, and then twist back down, come back into forward fold, move from side to side, maybe you have your arms crossed, if you cannot touch the ground, then roll up vertebra by vertebra, circle those hands, well those wrists one way to the other, ears to shoulders, Look from one side to the other. 
and up and down. Bring your hands together behind your back. Pull your arms up. Move from side to side. There you go. Swing your arms up and up. Hi, Sadie. Welcome. Up and up and up. Oh. Ah. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it. Shake it out. Woo! Well, you're, you're leaving now, Johnny, or you have to go watch today. So then, thank you. In case that this means that, thank you, and see you soon. Um, so, what we're doing next is we're gonna be doing pull-ups, right? We're gonna start with pull-ups as always. But, um, but I'm thinking about, am I going? I'm gonna go to the bathroom first, right? So I'm gonna put on an ad break. Um, you won't miss anything because I won't be here. But when I am a but in a second, we're gonna do the pull-ups. We're gonna do the bits, a bit, bits and stuff. So see you in a minute, right? And go to the bathroom too, get something to drink, and I'll see you back in a second. Out. Did she ever leave food on me? Your phone's back. Yeah, and I, I heard you the first time. She's so demanding. So, you need more fresh water, you tell me? You want this? Is this what you want? Yes? <laughs> yes? That's what she wants. All that she wants. Isn't that a baby? She's got another. All that she wants. Whew. So, uh, we're going to do pull ups. If you don't have a pull up bar, don't worry. No excuses. You can do down dog push ups. So, if you're on that mat. You shake your booty, shake your booty. No, um, you come into a down dog, and there's two ways to do that. You could either bend your elbows to the back or let them flare out, right? You don't have to have your heels on the mat, but this one you can be on your tippy toes. You can have your legs slightly bent as well, right? So that makes it an inclined push up or Hi, old pirate Borba. Welcome. Hey ho. Um, if you have a chair, you could also have put your hands on a chair on a kitchen counter and do a push-up with your feet elevated. That's gonna make it harder too. But if you do have a pull-up bar, my friends, let's do some pull-ups. As many of you may know, I'm always aiming to do eight or more these days. But most I've done were eight and a half. I were nine and a half, but I don't think we'll get there anytime soon. It was just like. A lucky day but <clears throat> who knew who uh yeah we never know until we know 
I would like to be able to do 10 until Christmas, but I'm not sure if we get there because, uh, just because. So, I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. There will hopefully be eight or more. Um, you can go for the neutral grip, uh, for the neutral grip, for the chin up grip, for this grip, for the wide grip, for the narrow grip. You can do one handed or one arm pull ups <coughs> if you're able to. You decide. And I'm procrastinating here because I never ever want to do those posts. I never ever want to start because I always know when I start them, I will find out if I will able, be able to do eight or not. But yeah, I'm not going to count out loud to catch uh, to save my breath. And let's do that. Let's do that, Mouthy. Mouthy, you're going to cheer me? Like, you're going to cheer? So you say like, go, Ivy, go. Go, Ivy, go. Let's do this. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight and a half. Two seven, they're coming! They had the count gewonnen, yeah. Mauti had gewonnen. Mauti! Now, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> we did it. Eight and a half. Eight and a half is good. <coughs> oh. ah. Drinking is not easy, it's advanced. Ja, trinken ist auch. <lacht> ist ein Skill, den ich vielleicht noch ein bisschen leveln muss. Marzi. Ja, Marzi muss bestimmt was trinken. Ja. Yeah. <lacht> auch frisches Wasser. <lacht> Überall sind schon nasse Pfotenabdrücke, weil sie die ganze Zeit immer schon trinkt und. <lacht> Das Wasser verteilt. Okay. Okay. Um, we're gonna do more, more of this. Uh, what I want to do, because today is a full body workout, I don't want to like do another normal set. I want to do the set with tucked knees, right? So if you don't have a pull up bar, you just keep doing the down dog push ups. If you do have a pull up bar, you're gonna try to do a pull up with your knees tucked in. So you're going to engage those abs as well, right? And we're trying, we'll be doing three sets of those and I'll be trying to do three reps each time or maybe four, let's see. If this is too hard, just stick with normal pull-ups or with the down dog push-ups or whatever. <sighs> Take a deep breath and <sighs> stretch, procrastinate if you have to. Whew. Then in and one, two, last one, three. I don't know why, but these are so much harder. I think because like if I have my legs down, I kind of use them a little bit to create some momentum to go up. And like this, I cannot do that. And also I'm using my abs a lot throughout the whole exercise. So there's some ATP getting lost in the abs. ATP, adenosyl triphosphato. The energy coin of the cell. 
right? People don't know that, but I, I once, a long time ago, I did study biochemistry, right? Now I just study Maltzi. <laughs> okay. Um, next set, right? Next set. Okay, two more sets. Two more sets. Maybe this time, usually I have my grip like my thumbs behind. Now I'm going to use to tighten up my thumbs around. I think this is then it's harder for the arms. Let's see. I hate that actually. I just don't feel like I'm holding up really good when I do that. One, two. Oh. Mm. Ah, the last one was pretty crappy. Doesn't matter. One more set, and then we're gonna do a little bit of legs before we go back to upper body. Trouble. If you feel like you need to stay warmed up, you can always jump in between, right? Or box a shuffle. Woo, woo. Travel, tra Wasting energy, right? <laughs> okay. Legs, le legs. Next set, last set. Three reps. Travel. Tuck those knees. And one. Two. Oh. Okay, and this last one. Uh, I didn't really get my chin over the bar, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You'll work out ever, nevertheless. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is our beloved shrimp squat. If you don't know how to do shrimp squats, the shrimp squat is a squat. It's a single leg squat where you stand on one leg, you hop that and hold that other leg. You can hold on to something if you have to. I cannot do it without support. There you go down all the way, tap that knee to the floor and you get up again. As I'm not able to do that, what I'm doing to train that is um, using a yoga block, put that underneath my, my knee so I don't have to go all the way down. So yoga block or anything else that's elevated can help you with achieving that. So we're gonna start on my bad side and we're gonna go for 10 reps. Try to do them not too fast um, because the faster you go, the easier it's gonna be. And really wanna get into those muscles. Let me let me let Healthy leave for a moment though. She wants to go. She drank. She rested. Now she will rest somewhere else. Goodbye. Mouse is fertig jetzt. Ja, Mouse hat jetzt entschieden, dass genug ist mit aus Workout. So. Are you ready? And grab that leg. Grab that leg, right? Hold on to your support if you have to. And then down. Ah, one rep. One out of ten. Wow, huh? Hard. Two.
three. Can we actually hold it with the other hand? No, then it's gonna be like twisted. Four. Ah! Five. Almost fell down. Ah. Halfway through. Six. Ah. Seven. Ah! So hard. Three more. Ah! So it's number three. Two. Ah! Hi! Last one. Ah. Mm. Ah. ah, I do feel that a lot. Whew. Other side, 10 reps, but I started on the bad side, so the good thing is that I'll be on the good side now. Woohoo! <sighs> Let's do that. Okay, okay, other side. Other side we go. <sighs> Ten reps. One. This side is so much easier. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Okay. Uh, next thing we're gonna be doing chosu bars. If you don't have, I'm gonna show you once up there. And we're gonna be doing 13 wraps, right? So it's gonna be hard. You're gonna feel it in your shoulders as well. So we're hanging in here and up. This is one rep. If this is too hard, you just do knee uh, tuck. And then if you don't have a pull up bar, what you can do is jackknife. So you come onto the mat. I just come onto that mat and you either do single leg jackknife, one leg, or if this is too hard with a leg bend like this or if you want to take out and not a jackknife with both 
both of your legs, right? So, hydrate once more and let's get this over with. Okay, let's procrastinate a little. Just a little longer. Are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? I know that I will feel that a lot in my shoulders. If you ever want to have to pause, you can come down, come back up, or just keep hanging there. Wait a second until you lift those legs up again, right? 13 reps for me. Do as many as you want to, but try to go for five to 10 at least, I'd say, if you can. And if the toes to bars are too hard, just like I said, just do toe tucks, uh, toe tucks, knee tucks. And I'm sure you'll be able to do five knee tucks, right? If not, just do one, go down, up again, another one, another one, another one, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Woo! quick pause, nine, ten, three more, three, two, and last one. Uh. Woo! I do feel that a lot in my shoulders and my arms and deep down in my core. <sighs> we're gonna do one more thing and this time we're gonna have our arms out here to the sides, right? Out here to the side. Right. Here. And we move our legs up from side to side, six reps only. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you be you down here on the mat. You can do like lift or something like that. So you bring your hands, for example, underneath your butt. If you need to create a little hole for your lower back, and then you go up to one side, down to the middle, up to the other side. Or you could be doing circles. So down here and you circle up like that, right? You'd be doing these or the other way around. Right? Like that is harder. I think. So. Got that? So, either do these down there or up here, hands to the side. And both legs from side to side, six reps only. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, woo! Dance, dance from you. Oh, me. So, okay, uh, I still want to do dips, right? Uh, but what we're going to do, we, the other day we did 10 dips here, I think. But what I want to do now, uh, okay, we grab a chair if we have a chair. If you don't have a dip station, you can do the dips on the chair, right? The important thing when we do dips is our arms don't flare out, they go back. So if you're on the chair, your arms are here, right, like that, and down, 
and up, right? So what I want to do now, um, because I've had some problems with my shoulder lately, so I want to work it for longer periods of time, but not put too much load on it. So what I'm going to do, I want to do five dips up here instead of doing 10, and then I'm going to do 10 down here, right? So you can just do yours up on your dip stage. You can do all of them on the chair or all of them on the floor. Always adjust the workout to your needs. And without further ado, let's go here. So. And one, two, three, Four, five, now I'm going to get down here and I'm going to do ten, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. This is actually pretty hard when you do five up there and then 10 down there. So Now, we're going to do that again. Oh yeah, once more. And then we're going to leave that chair here afterwards and we're going to be doing a Bulgarian split squat with the chair. If you don't have a chair, you can do them on the floor as well. But well, let's do another set of the dips. Five dips up here, 10 down there, or how many you want to, right? How are you feeling? Sweaty, good. Worked out already? And one, two, three. Four, five, and right away the ten down here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's so hard. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Wow, love the burn. So, split squats. We're gonna do one set without weights, and then you can use weights, right? So, you see how they're supposed to look. I'm gonna use the towel because my chair kind of hard here so I don't want to hurt my foot um but you what you can do like because I will have my foot up here like that right if this is hurting you and you don't have anything to put up there you can have your foot tucked as well right <sighs> out of breath Here we go. We've got to do 10 reps without weight. So, one leg is in front, the other one is up here, and then we go up and down for 10 times. One, hips are square. Two, 
knees at three, knees aligned with toes. Five, four, three, two. Oh, I miscounted. One more. Bop. So, other side as well. Whew. And these can be really hard without weights already. So, you don't have to add the weights if you don't want to, right? You can add both weights, you can add one weight. My weights are eight kilogram each, so that's roughly 17.6 uh, pounds, just so you know. But let's do the other side first. Right? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When I get close to you, close to you, close to you. So, now we're gonna do one set with one weight and then we're gonna do a set with both weights if you want to. So like I said, my weight is eight kilogram, uh, so 17.6 pounds. I hope you're ready. So it's gonna get gradually harder, right? Gradually harder. Working those quads. Um, we have the weight in the hand that's, of the legs that's egg up, so. With the weight, I always feel like it's harder to get up here. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have the other side still. I was starting with my left, right in front, so I'm going to do the right to the left now. Remember that you don't want to just keep. Like not thinking and then you just keep training one leg and you get like one leg super big and the other one is super small. Imagine that. <sighs> like those people who do like, uh, how is that like the arm fight? It's it's quite unbelievable in German. I don't know what it's called in, in English. Let me check that. Close to you, close to you, close to you. Arm wrestling. Okay, that's an easy one. Arm wrestling. Okay. So, like the guys who do arm wrestling and they have one, like, arm that's like maybe not that trained and the other arm is just like this huge thing. <laughs> okay. Let's do the other side. Let's go. One. I'm having the weight here, by the way. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ah! On the next one, we're going to use both weights. So for me, that's eight kilograms in each hand, right? So that's 17.6 pounds in each hand. Total of 16 kilograms. Um, or I don't know how much that is in pounds. 17 and 17 is what, like 34? And six and six is 12, so it's 35.2 kilograms, a uh, pound, I think. Did I do that right? It's high onto, welcome. Is that real life? Yes, this is life. I'm training here. I'm usually live Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. 
this Monday I wasn't, I was busy, but yeah. Oh, so, grab your weights. Grab your waist, guys. Whew. And let's do that. It's gonna be harder with two weights now, but anyway, right? Being hard is nothing that's holding us back. So grab those weights. Not gonna step all that far here. Because, yeah. Just because. It's harder to keep the balance with both weights. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! Whew. Whew. Ah, so hard. Because they're for pole dancing, and I'm not pole dancing right now, and they're like, they're not very useful for doing workouts. Uh. So. Whew. Maybe we can sh shake them out. Maybe Friday we're gonna use them. Because Friday they might be a pole stream. Because I set up a pole here today. Here today. Because a friend is coming. So. Oh, maybe. But well, the room is a little bit small for the heels, actually. It's gonna kick the, the ceiling when I do pole with the heels here. Um, let's do the other side, right? Let's get this over with. Uh, yeah. Whew. It's so hard to get that foot back there. Whoa, with the weight. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> okay. One, okay, to the side. And the one stays up here. Um, so, we do, what we do next, uh, one minute for our back and our, uh, uh, our arms. So you stand here, if you have a bench, you could be on the bench like that, right? If you don't have a bench, you stand here, your legs wide, hand down here, back straight, and you pull the weight up and down like that for one minute each side. And if you don't have weight, Right? If you don't have weight, you can just do pull-ups, uh, push-ups, I mean, right? And if you want to do that a bit easier, but you have a chair, you could be doing push-ups on a chair, right? This is easier, you can climb up here. You could be doing those, right? So, no weight, no excuse. And down here, there. So, I'm gonna start the timer here, right? Da -da -da. Let's go. One minute. Back is straight, up and down. Go your pace, right? There's no need for you to do this super fast because we're gonna be doing it for one minute. So if your weights are lighter, I know eight kilograms. You might want to go faster. If they're heavier, you might want to go slower, right? You can always choose. This is your workout. You should uh, adjust it to your level of fitness. Halfway through, keep breathing, keep pulling that weight up. And I want you to move it up and down at the same pace, more or less, right? So don't drop it down, like fight gravity on the way up and fight gravity on the way down and 10 seconds and five four three two one last one down there Whew. Hi. <sighs> 
So. Rice and honey. <laughs> no, I do eat a lot of nuts actually. Actually, a lot of nuts. Da -da 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 -da. So, other side. Gonna flip it around so you can see my arm. And yeah. I do eat a lot of nuts. Nuts are so nice. Almond. And fruit. So, are you ready? Are you ready? One second. So. One second. I got you. And here we do the same thing that we did before, right? One arm. If you have a if you have a bench, it could be with your knee on the bench as well. If not, you're standing like that, straight, and you're gonna pull up here, right? So. There we go. Okay, are you ready then? Let's do this. And same thing that on the first side. Uh, we're gonna do this for one minute. So you can choose your pace. You can go faster, you can go slower. Make sure it's always quality over quantity. Right. So in and out. Halfway through now. My arm is shaking. That's a good sign. That means I'm working hard here. Woo! Down and up. Oh yeah. 20 seconds. Work that arm and the back here. Up and down, fighting gravity, or well, making gravity work for you actually, because without gravity you couldn't be tra you could be training like that, right? And three, two, one, down. Woo! Gonna do the first side again, right? And then, uh, and then probably some app work. Although I have to say, our arms are worked up now, so doing app work up there is gonna be hard, but well, it's always good to train those arms, right? Anyway, there is. So, other side. Again, without further ado, this is gonna be harder, I promise you. It's gonna be harder than the first time. So, there we go, and then we start. Up and down. Straight back. Shoulders away from ears, up and down, up and down, nice and controlled. And if it starts to burn, you're welcome, right? That nice burn, that means that we're working those muscles real good. I've been in. Woo! Halfway through, keep pushing. 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds is such a little, so little time usually, right? But when you're doing these exercises and it starts to burn already, you're like, oh my gosh, like 20 seconds feels eternal. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, down. Whew. Hallo Selena, wie geht's dir? Guten Morgen. Ich hoffe, du fühlst dich schon ein bisschen besser. Und weniger erkältet. Oder weniger, ja, weniger schlecht, weniger Gliederschmerzen und so weiter und so fort. Okay, other side again. Besser. Nur noch Kopfschmerzen. Oh, das Essen. Das ist nicht schön. Kopfschmerzen ist so, ich meine, alle Schmerzen mit Essen, wenn man sie hat. Das vielleicht hast du gehen, ne? Oh no, hast du auch sowas wie Aura und so dann? Weil es mir eine Migräne hat, aber noch sowas. Ah, Migräne ist voll ätzend. Mein Bruder hatte Migräne. Dann geht ja wirklich nie weg dann. Also, kannst du wenig gegen machen. Okay, guys, other side. Benny here. 
lift up, start, and up and down. Woo. Okay, up and down. Right, you can always choose your own pace. I chose mine, so I'm doing it at my pace. If you want to do it at another pace, answer, feel free to do. Aber selten. Die Sicht erklären. Ah, das könnte sein. Ja, das könnte sein. Okay. 30 seconds to go. Aber wenn du die Migräne hast, ist richtig ätzend. Weil da hilft ja auch wirklich kein, keine Medikation und so, so wirklich. 20 seconds to go. Uff. 15. Woohoo. Oh my, this burns so bad. Oh. And we're almost done with five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Mal testen lassen, ja. Ja, lass du am besten, lass doch testen, dass du sowas auch weißt. So. Put that chair to the side and the weight as well. <laughs> We're going to use it again later, but for the moment, put it aside. Let's do a handstand actually. So, um, if you have yoga, if you have dip the dip station, that comes in handy now because uh, we want to do uh, right because we want to have our hands up here and we're gonna go get up here. Tuck and extend, right? We did these yesterday as well. Tuck and extend, 10 reps. Um, if you don't have, if you don't have the dip station, yeah, we can do handstand push-ups as well, but we're gonna do them later, maybe. Um, for the handstand push-ups, I will have to, uh, I will have to dry the floor, I'm out to make everything wet. If you don't have the dip station, which is okay too, right? I uh, understand that not everyone has like a lot of fitness equipment at their home. Uh, then uh, you could be doing these at home, for example, right? Up and down, like that. Or if it's too hard, we'll bend legs, right? Up and down, up and up, up. And up. Right. Oh. And yeah, so I'm going to do 10 reps. I'm going to do more than one set probably. So let's go. Up here, shoulders away from ears, right? Shoulders away from ears. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Two more sets, right? Two more sets of those. Whew. Let's go. And up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I kind of got crampy feet there. Whew. Oh. We're going to do one more set. I do what I do, and I don't do what people tell me to do. So, okay, this is a workout stream, and not a, oh please, puppet, move that way, puppet, move that way, puppet stream, right? And then we're clear here. Okay, guys, last set. If your feet are crampy, uh, you can also flex them, right? So. Up here, shoulders away from ears, tuck the knees and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Woo. On the next one, we're going to do something similar if you're on the floor, just do the same thing that you just did. But if you're up there, wanted here to twist your hips more right so we're gonna work those obliques a little bit and we're going to try to keep the feet fairly up right because you could be doing that with your feet down right you could be doing that down here would be easier right down here but if you can i want you to have your legs up as high as you can to engage those hip flexors more to engage the legs and yeah if you're on the floor, you just do the same that we did before. You ready? 10 reps only. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Whew. One more set. Now we're gonna do handstand push ups. And I think then we're gonna move it down to the floor already. Whew. Oh, we didn't do deadlifts, I think. Did we do deadlifts? Did I write that in the description? Let me check. Let me check real quick if I said something about that. That we're gonna be doing Romanian deadlifts or something. If we, if I wrote something like that, then I might want to uh, do that. <laughs> oh yeah, I wrote deadlifts. Okay, then we're gonna do something standing and then we're gonna move it down. So once more, the uh this move up here legs up and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's do twenty ten nine eight seven six five four three two one oh, okay that lift uh, uh, the next one. Uh, so, we grab those weights. We're gonna be doing Romanian deadlift. Put your weight somewhere. Be careful. Just gotta do 10 reps, right? Whew. So, what you wanna do, um, we gotta do Romanian deadlift. So, we're standing in like with our hips, with our feet, hip distance apart, or a bit further apart, right? Um, we're not moving these knees to the front. We're trying to keep those shins fairly, uh, fairly uh, vertical to the floor. So then we go down with the weight seat with the straight back and up again. What I want you to do is squeeze the bum while you're up there. Don't block the knees and keep the back straight. If you arch your back, you're gonna hurt yourself. So you're not gonna, uh, you're not, you shouldn't be do that, doing that. So if you feel like you have to arch your back, just go halfway down like this, which is fine too for the beginning, or do it without weights, right? Do it without weights. And if you don't have weights at all, um, then you can just pulse it. One, two, three, or five, and up, and you pulse again. One, two, three, four, five, up, right? You just keep pulsing. Whew. Ay. So, you ready for that? Right, you ready for that? Okay, I think what you wrote there, 
I think you're being like very, very dumb, right? So. Next time you're being disrespectful, you're being. Uh. You'll be hidden. Just so you know. Okay, guys. Um. So. If you have the weights, grab the weights, right? Grab those weights. And we're gonna do we're gonna go for 15 reps. Um, and yeah, if you do the pulses, it's gonna be hard too, right? So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. Four, three, two, one. Okay. So these down. Let's move the cam down. Right. Let's move the cam down. And start doing some. Donkey kicks, probably. Right. Ah. Uh oh. Hey. So. Wait a second. I have to adjust the cam here. Right. So, nice. There we go. There we go. So. There we go. Ah, okay. Okay, what? It is. Oh, wow. Getting late, guys. Getting late. So, um, what are we gonna do? Oh, let's come on to our bed for a moment. I want to do some donkey kicks. I want to do some abs as well, right? So, what are we gonna do first? We're gonna do the donkey kicks first, right? So, if you have ankle weights, if you have ankle weights, grab those ankle weights, Whee! right? If you don't have ankle weights, you can do these exercises. Perfect, uh, perfectly, uh, perfectly without anchor weights, right? If you haven't ever used anchor weights, then I would probably even recommend you to do that, to do that without, uh, just to get used to it. So. Okay. So my anchor weights, my anchor weights are uh, uh, one kilogram each, right? One kilogram each. Right? And, uh, wait a second. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, 
Goodbye. So, okay, guys. Um, so now we're in peace again, right? Now we're in peace. Sorry, I had to take care. All right, there. So it's, that this still is a safe place for everyone. So, um, I'm gonna put on a timer. If you want to put on your anchor weights, put on your anchor weights. Mine are each one kilogram each. So it's roughly 2.2 pounds each. So that's 4.4 pounds on each leg. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Okay, let me start the timer. Let me start the timer. So, on the first, in the, during the first minute, you don't have to do anything, right? During the first minute, you don't have to do anything. Um, because I'm gonna explain you what to do. Uh, we come into the donkey kick position. You can either do it up here, um, in, in a tabletop position with your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Important, like no slouching here, right? Shoulders away from ears strong. If this is uncomfy for you because of your wrists, you can come down here onto your elbows, elbows underneath shoulder bend. Important, both ways, uh, both stances. You don't have a round back like that. And uh, you don't have an arch back, right? Your back should be fairly straight. And uh, yeah, we're about to start. 10 seconds to go, choose whatever stance you prefer. I just had to turn down the music a little bit there. Wasn't hearing my own voice no more. Woo! Down here, start however you want to start. And we do the donkey kick, right? The normal donkey kick here. So you move that leg up and down. My foot is flexed here, but you can have your foot pointed as well. The important thing here is to squeeze your bum when you're up there. And you don't want to twist your hip open, right? So if you have to twist your hip open to get that leg up there, I don't want you to lift your leg that high, right? And again, no slouching here. Three minutes on each side, right? Three minutes on each side. And one minute of rest in between the two sides. So we have 80 minutes, 80 seconds here to go, then two more. Minutes on that side and then one minute of rest already. How are you feeling guys, huh? Nice donkey kicks here. You could be using a booty band as well or have a weight behind your knee. Next thing, stay out there and pulse. Pulsing it up here, right? Teeny tiny pulses. The glutes are contracted at all times now. How are you feeling? If you write me now how you feel, I know that you're not doing it, but anyway. <laughs> Today we're gonna to do a lot of dynamic stretches, by the way, during the stretching session. It's gonna be fun. Boop, 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 up, up, push it up, push it up. Oh yeah. Woohoo! 20 seconds to go. Don't crane your neck, by the way, to the side in case you're doing the exercise. Right, rather like keep your neck as a prolongation of your spine. I'm gonna cry my neck once in a while to read the chat, so. Whew. Next thing is fire hydrants. Right, no turning out there either, although I know it's harder. So you're down here and out to the side like a dog that's lifting his leg to pee at a fire hydrant. And if you have to, if you feel like you're twisting your hips open a lot, don't go that low, right? Then just, and then rather stay. Higher up, and up, and up. Nice and controlled, last exercise. And then we have one minute of rest before we do the other side. The other side, other side is gonna be harder, I tell you, because it, it's been the stabilizing side. Try not to twist, try to avoid that. Teeny tiny bit of twisting is okay, but we cannot avoid that actually, I'd say. Unless you're like super strong and flexible. Five, four, three, two, last one. Ah, oh, child's pose for a moment. Ah, oh, shake it out. And we are, we have a little bit of rest till we do the other side.
I hope you're feeling all right. All righty right. <sighs> so, if you in the middle of the exercise feel like it's too hard to stay on your wrist because you're on your wrist, you can always like in the middle of the exercise come down onto your forearms, by the way, as well, right? You don't have to wait for one move to end. So, next set starts in five seconds. Two, one, and let go. Let's go. Other side. Up and down. Up and down. Keep breathing. Up and down. Whew. Up and down. Ah. If you have an itch, maybe you want to scratch it, it's okay. Make sure not to twist your hips open. Leg goes straight back. 90 degree angle at the knee, more or less. Foot is flexed. Squeeze the bum when you're up there. Shoulders away from ears. Keep breathing. And on the in five seconds, we're gonna pulse it up there. Right? Two, one. Let's stay up there and pulse. All right, working that bum. And if you feel a slight burn or a big burn, you're welcome. That's when the changes are happening. And if you feel that way more in the standing or in the supporting uh, leg, this is totally normal, especially in the beginning as well, because we uh, the, the supporting leg is working a lot because it's stabilizing us, right? Keeping up the weight. So yeah, don't worry about it if you feel it a lot in that leg, but try not to twist, right? Because the more that we feel that, the more we tend to twist our hips open, we don't want that. And rather have the leg down here. Up, up, up. Fire hydrants incoming. Woohoo! 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. And now the fire hydrant. Up and down. Up and down. Up to the side and down. Try to avoid twisting. Open here. Up and down. Ah. 35 seconds and then one minute of rest and then we're going to go back to the first side and do more stuff there All right, so it's not over yet If you want to you can take your ankle waist off though if you feel like this is too hard And 19 seconds 15 Woo Let's go working that bum Oof. Seven six Five, four, three, two, one, up, and back. Whew. Ah. And we're gonna be doing the other side. Ah. So. You ready? Hope you are. I hope you are. We have 27 seconds until we whew, do the next one. And this time uh, I'm going to be down here, but you can do it up there again, right? Whatever you want, and we're gonna be training our hip uh, mobility as well. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna cue you in. So, we go up to the back and then out to the side. So, we're circling now. I know now it's normal to turn out a little bit more. It's okay. Try to turn out not too much, but a little bit is okay. Circling. <sighs> circling. Oof. It's a hard for me, especially when I'm down here on my elbows. 
because I feel like I'm so crammed up, I come down, I have so little space. Oof. Circle. A circle. Oof. We're gonna circle the other way, right? So remember what where you started. In 10 seconds, you're gonna flip it around. Oh, flip it around, we're gonna circle the way. Ah. So we're gonna start with the fire hydrant now. So out, back, and in. Out to the side, back, and in. If you feel that it's like too crammed up down here, you can of course come up again, or you could come up on one side. This is easier if you just come up on one side and you on the elbow on the other side. There. Circle. Hip mobility. And booty strength. Ah, so hard. 25 seconds still and then one more move. The next move is not gonna be uh, circles though. 15 seconds. Let's go. Five, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Bit to the front, leg straight, and up and down. And you can tap the weight and the foot down, but don't put all the weight down there, right? Tap it down and up again. Tap and up. Woo! Let's go. We do that on the other side, and then we're down with the donkey kicks, right? So push through just these uh, 33 seconds, and then one minute of break, three minutes on the other side, and then we're down with the donkey kick. And up. And up. Oh, it's so hard, guys. It burns. Up. 15. 10. Keep breathing. So close to break. One minute of rest and two, one. Down, ah, shake it out. One minute of rest coming up. And then we're done with the donkey kick. And we do other stuff. Some side planks. Because we still have to do some, we have to do more abs, right? Didn't do enough extra day, I feel like it i feel it's hard like to get a real hard burn in your abs sometimes sometimes it's hard All I need. Oh. All I need. Oh. Oh. ten seconds and then the last three minutes of Donkey kicks for all bum and all hip. Let's get down here into the position. Right, are you ready then? Circling one way. And it doesn't have to be big circles, right? If you feel like you cannot open up that much on one side, this is totally normal, this is totally okay. I do struggle on that side because I think the other, like the, the side that's now the stabilizing side, I'm not that stable on that side. <laughs> and you can go really slow here. No need to rush that. <clears throat> circle. And circle. How much longer is it? Okay, about 10 seconds. And we circle the other way. <sighs> okay, other way. So out and then back. Fire hydrant out to the side and back. Oh. This is harder than it looks. And it's not even like hard because it's burning so much, but it's like, I feel so, so crammed up down here. I don't want to get up though, because I think I can push through like that, but anyway. 
15 seconds. Ah, so close. To the last minute. Oh. <laughs> it's so terrible. Shoulders away from the ears. No slouching. Okay. Straight leg here. Make sure not to hit anything that's behind you. Up and down. No twisting. Up and down. Up and down. And up and down. Ah. We're going to stretch our bum after that. All right, stretch it a little before we keep working. And I think we're done with the bum work for today then. Oof, with the donkey kicks for sure. We're very close to the stretching actually. It's pretty late already, huh? 17 seconds. Up and down. Up and down. Feel the burn, feel the burn. Five, four, three, two, one, down. <sighs> Woohoo! Okay, I'm gonna let the timer run because we're gonna need it for the abs, right? We're gonna need that for the abs. Uh, so let's take off the ankle weight. Not for the side plank abs, but we're gonna do other abs before they do the side plank. Take out the ankle weight. Ah. Ah. Let's put them here. We can put them to the way later. Like that. Up, up, up. Okay. Let's stretch your leg for one minute and then we're going to do the abs. So come onto your back. We're going to do a figure four stretch here, right? Cross one leg over the other. And either grab through here or grab the shin. Pull the leg in and feel a nice stretch in your outer thigh and your booty. And the side booty here of that leg. Ah, maybe move from side to side a little bit. Oh. Switch side. Of course, you could hold the stretch longer if you like. Mm. Woo! <sighs> Down, check it out. And now we're gonna do a few up exercises, always one minute, right? This is why I want to let the timer on, because you're gonna be doing stuff always for one minute. So we're gonna start off easy just with normal crunches, right? So I want you to have your hands ideally at the sides of it. You should not holding your neck up. You just have those arms here so they're out of the way. And then you're just pulling up like that. Basic crunches. Pressing your lower back into the mat. And if it's too hard, you can have your hands here in front. Then it's going to be easier, right? It's a really small crunch. But you should feel that. Keep breathing. Even though it's not the hardest exercise, you still need the oxygen, right? Believe me. Down. Down and up. Oof. Oof. Few minutes of apsy at the end. Uh, then some side planking. And then we're done. Up. And up. Oof. And up. 10 seconds, not even 10 seconds actually, so, so close, so close to doing single leg jackknives, guys, so, single leg jackknives, arms out here, one leg up and then the other one, if it's too hard, you can always bend your leg more, don't we have music no more, okay, there we go, up, Oof up up strong up 
Up and down. Up and down. Oh yes. Up and down. Let's do this. Next thing is Russian twist, right? There's very real ways to do that. So, arms here, you can have your hands down and then you twist from side to side. If this is easy, you can float those legs and you can even straighten the legs. Up to you, right? But choose your level of difficulty. And twist, twist, twist. After that, we're done with those. Uh, well, we're not done with abs, then we do the side planks, but then I'm gonna stop the timer. So push through. Right? Last 30 seconds here. If you do feel a burn in your abs by now, that's good. Whew. And 10 seconds. Whew. Whew. Ah, so close. Ah, 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 okay. Let's start the timer. All right, let's start the timer. Hi, Walter, welcome. Happy Wednesday. So, okay, we're gonna do side planks. Um, high side planks though. So, if you want to, and I think this is gonna be the last exercise for today, um, because after that, yeah, it's time to stretch already, right? Time to stretch already. So, um, first of all, high side plank. You can do that on your knees and do high side plank di dips on your knees, or you could be doing those on your toes, right? Like that. And I really want you to go way down and up, so not the ones pulsing up, but down and up, down and up. We're gonna do 10 on each side, right? Do one side, then move to the other side, do 10, and then we're gonna do other stuff. And then in a few minutes, we're gonna stretch. Now. Here. So, mouse is back, so the party can start. Are you ready? Just 10 reps, right? Shoulders away from ears, very important. You don't want to slouch. Good, bad for your posture. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. You might feel that one side is pretty easy and the other one is like very hard because you might lack shoulder strength or shoulder stability on one side. That's totally normal. So it's okay to do one side up on your tippy toe, on your toes, on your feet, I mean, and the other side down on your knees, right? You don't want to hurt your shoulder when doing that. It's always quality over quantity, and if you feel like you're slouching and your shoulders in pain, don't do it up there, do it on your knees, right? Ready? 10 reps. Uh, come up here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, next thing is gonna be more advanced. So you might wanna stick with those or you might wanna go onto your knees now. Um, because what I'm trying, what I wanna do is, right, we're down here. Uh, we will be here and then when we go up, we lift the leg up and down and up. But you can do that on your feet, right? On your feet, it's gonna be way harder. Let's see if I'm even able to make it to 10. 
Um, right, but so it's okay to do it on your knees. Oh. Ready? Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, ah, ah, eight, nine, ten, ah, oh. Wow, that was way harder than I expected it to be. And I did both move like kind of apart from each other. So up and down and then up. But that's good, right? Finding stuff that we're not good at. I think sometimes it's just that you have to like get the gist of the right technique. And once you have that, it's easier. So I'm still trying to find that there probably. So have this side. You ready? So. One. Two, three, four, five, oh! six, seven, eight, oh, oh, nine, ten, ah. Oh! We made it to the stretching. Woo. We made it to the stretching. I wanted to do more, more abs, but actually it's already very late and we want to enjoy the stretching part as well. So let's put the ankle weights away, first of all. Back to that there. So we're properly here. And then let me change the tack and let's start to stretch. Music. Here we go. Stretching music. Ah. Oh. I'm going to put on my socks, by the way, because I already know it's going to get colder when I stop pumping. Multi water glasses. Oh, we didn't do handstand push ups, did we? Let's do one handstand to it for three. I forgot. I forgot. We wanted to do those, right? You don't see my legs now, it doesn't matter. One, two, three. So, because I said we'll be doing them. And I forgot. Sometimes I forgot things. I'm sorry. So, okay. Um, Actually, we don't do enough push-ups these days. Hi, Rob, welcome, how are you doing? How are you doing, what about, I mean, we started stretching already, but what about we do one set of push-ups with the uh, yoga blocks? I feel like we have to. So, great to see you too. How's the weather in Seattle and the Seattle area? Is it cold already? I guess it is, because here it's getting cooler too. Like the temperatures are getting down, it's crazy, right? Winter time is about, to come so uh, 10 reps I know this is not stretching but I do feel the need to do one more set of push-ups here one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, so normal, rainy and windy, yeah. Here it's, I think here's like, it was like warmer all the last, the past months, the past couple of months, like, or at least like the last month, you know, the last two months were warmer than usual here a bit, I think. And this month now, this week it's a bit cooler. It's a bit cooler than the usual temperatures, but well, gotta work. I gotta live with what we have, right? So, yeah, see. So beautiful. Whew. So let's do some dynamic stretches here. Uh, right, like yesterday. Uh, Mother Nature, yeah. We start with some back stretches actually, right? So we're here and we're pushing our bum to the front and our back. Yeah. Yeah, nature needs the cold time and the rain and everything. Well, here it's not raining so far, not much. I think, I don't know, was it raining last week? But it's supposed to rain later this week, I think. To the front. To the front. Push. And push. And now hold it here, right? Lean for the back. And up. And now, if you can, if you feel like you can take it up a notch, you could bring one arm on one side down to the heel and lean back like that. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, she's beautiful. He's a bit grumpy all the time, but that's okay. Let's do the other side. So now, if you weren't able to do that, you just keep doing that, pushing to the front here, right? A bit dynamic. Moving, pushing to the front, leaning back. Uh, if, but if you were able to come back onto both sides, we're gonna do the dynamic thing here with those. So we're gonna do this and other side, right? So from side to side here. Side, this side. <laughs> Thank you. If you feel like you can go crazier, maybe you can instead going back and to the front to the other side, maybe you can go around like this. So like this right to the way and down check it out mouthy Yes, if you're able to do that, it's really nice for the back and for all the mobility and stuff. But it's something that you have to work, work towards slightly bit by bit. You don't want to hurt your back. So now let's work those legs a little bit. So, come into a half split position here. And uh, you can use yoga blocks for that. If you have yoga blocks, it's easier. We did that yesterday with the yoga blocks. So you come to the front and to the back again, right? And if you're having yoga blocks, it's easier, but you for sure don't need them. Dynamic stretching it is. Yeah, she's very furry. She's losing so much hair. It's crazy. I was wondering, like, maybe I should just, like, because her hair is so fluffy, maybe I should just, like, uh, collect it, and then I can make myself a, just a, a pillow, right? A pillow out of her hair. <laughs> oh. You know, use it as a, as a, to stuff the pillow. <laughs> yeah, she's shining a lot. Always. In summertime and wintertime. 
And to the front. Oh well, the other cat not so much. She way more, but she she's also super fluffy. She's like I, I don't know, like she's a mix. But there's something. She's like not just like the normal short hair, but I think there's something in there that she has like longer hair than the average, uh, the average cat. Not as long as the cats that like the Persians or stuff who like where the hairs always keep growing, but more than the average cat. Back and to the front. Woo! Few more here. Down. And then let's stay down here, pulse it a bit. And if you can, hands on the mat. We keep pulsing. A piece of our salmon. Ah, oh, and did she like it? Or did he like it? I don't know if it's a if it's a he she or he. And now back to the front. Because I bought raw sardines, the dines, I don't know. Some other fish and they didn't, she didn't like it that much. It was okay, but she wasn't so cra crazy about it. But I think about salmon, it's different. He, it's a he, okay. So same thing we did before. If you use yoga block, that might be easier. Dynamic stretching to the front and to the back. She really loves chicken and chicken breast and turkey breast. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just, just the salmon, but the other fish they don't like. Yeah, the little fish, they do, she didn't like them. And, or, or like, uh, or that, like, that's a long time ago, but like, he told us, like, oh, it's really good to give those little fishes to the cats, buy those, give them those, but she said, like, no, I don't want those. This is crap food. Eat it yourself. <laughs> But yeah, Salmon, she, she does like. Now let's stay back here. Dancing, and you can't do that with a straight back, but it's okay. Cook, yeah, we actually, we gave it to her like raw, and then we cooked them, and actually when they were raw, she was at least like licking them a bit, but when we cooked them, she wasn't interested at all, so. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Or with a little bit of like rolled into turkey breast, maybe, right? With some cream cheese on it and stuff. <laughs> so, we go. And we're gonna do the other side, right? A lot of dynamic stretches awaiting us this. Uh, or maybe some beef, yeah, yeah, probably. Or maybe like if you put it in, in milk or something, like, you know, like in a, in a tray with milk and then. It's like fish milk. <laughs> so other side and back and forth here from the half split to yeah, duck. She likes that. That's something you like to. And she doesn't like cookies, but the other cat we have, she likes cookies as well. Like if you eat cookies or something, she comes and she's trying to like rub that, but she doesn't. She just eats like cat stuff. But the other cat, she's eating like whatever. Yeah, it's wild. Okay, that's true. That's true. When I was younger, when I was a kid, we had a cat and she would like catch birds and like bring him in and eat them partially. Yes, you're a little lion. A lioness. Back and forth. Whew. And back and to the front. On the next one, we stay down here and we pause for a moment. Bam, bam, bam. And maybe you can come down with your legs and pull T as well. Nah. Yeah. And back and forth dynamic stretching again and if you can keep your leg fairly your back fairly straight here that's good if you have it rounded it's okay too i have mine rounded like Ly lioness would be a cute name right no but she's called mouthy which is like the it's like from the german word mouth which is like meowing we have meowing too we have two words for that but yeah because she's very vocal 
right? Usually you're very vocal. She was she was talking more back in the day. Now she's getting older, she's quieter, but sometimes she just like starts screaming out of nowhere. Right? Sometimes when she wakes up at night and uh... oh, yeah. yeah, it it, it derives from the German word for mountain, which means like meowing. Night. That's a cute one. Oh, pulsing. Oh. And down here. Oh. Oh. I have my trouble with having a straight back here, as you can see, everyone. Straight back will be up here. Oh. Yo, ha. check it out, check it out, check it, check it, check it out. And yeah, so I'm thinking now, are we going to use the ball to further stretch here like that? Or are we going out here? Are we going to do? Huh? What are we going to do? What would you say? What do you think, Mel? Okay, now we're going to do that other stretch here again. So, deep lunge, right? Deep lunge here. Yeah, we're going to grab the ball in a second. We're just going to do one more hamstring stretch here. So we're in a deep lunge here, and then I want you to grab that back foot and pull that in. Ball of yawn would be nice for her, right? She loves to play with uh, dental floss, actually. She's really into that. Even though mine is minty, but she doesn't mind that she likes it. And let's do the other side. Ah. Same thing. Grab that back foot with the opposite arm. Pulsing a little bit. And let go. Y lo sé, y lo dental. And let's grab the ball to do some stretches. The ball. If you don't have a ball, you could be using uh, something else like a chair or just do the stretches on the floor, right? You can be doing them on the floor as well. But if you do have a ball, let's grab that ball. Make sure not to annoy your cat. And what we want to do here now is put one foot up here, right? And try not to fall. It's also a balance exercise, kind of, right? Actually, what we can do now, first of all, holding onto a wall or a chair, or whatever. I'm holding onto a wall here. And we pull, we pull the leg in and out, right? So more dynamic stretches here. Pull. Start to cross room yeah. Yeah, when they have zoomies, right? Crazy. She is sometimes like that, but not that often. But the other cat, like she's often like that. And she has like this plushy tail and stuff. She does not get that very often. But the other one, she does get it. And a few more. And then try to put both hands on the ball. Don't fall. And roll back and forth here, right? With a fairly straight fat leg in the front. To the front. Right, mostly, mostly dynamic stretches here today. Open. Oi, make sure to fall. Right, I know it's sometimes we get kind of wobbly here. Let's stay here at, our, at a point where we're like pretty open. Ah. 
and in. Now, hand, one hand on the floor here. We put that leg in, we roll that leg out, bum out here, right? Bum out. And then stretch the inner thigh, right? Stretch the inner thigh, and you can roll the ball out and in again. Hi, Paul, welcome. Out and in. And out and in. And like that, we're also working on that middle split. Out and in a bit. Maybe you don't even need the hand on the ball. You can put the other hand down here as well. Right? To step a better, like to hold that better and just out and in. Out and in. Out and in. And now, if you want to take it up a notch, try to come down here for a moment, holding that. Ooh. Point the foot maybe, in and out a little, in and out. Ay, ay, ay. Out, and out, and up, and down. With the leg. Yeah, this is really good. This is really good for or hips for black flexibility. But yeah, you should always have like a wall or a chair or something close by if you're using the ball because sometimes the ball gets too wobbly and you don't want to just fall down. So let's do the other side. Right? So um we start here. Yeah, the leg goes up, right? Yeah, the leg goes up, and first of all, in and out here, right? In and out. Dynamic steps. Maybe you can even do it like free-handed, right? I'm trying like not to hold onto the wall here. My hands are here, right? Maybe you can do that, but it's okay to hold on to a wall. Thank you, Rob. In. And in. And in. Whew. Two more. Okay, now the front fall into the ball if you can and whoo, point the foot and roll out and in out and in whoo, out and in oh yo yo hard Wobbly, doesn't matter. And out. Out and in and now let's stay out here. Ah! Point the foot, straighten the leg. Ah, yes. This feels really good. Ah, opening up those hips here. And back. Now one hand down. Turn the other leg in, the leg in, bum out. And we roll that leg in and out here. Other side now. Someone asked me, uh, John, I think it was John, asked me yesterday what I was what we doing like Thanksgiving. And yeah, I told him like we don't have Thanksgiving like that here in Europe. But like, when is Thanksgiving anyway? Isn't that like, like shortly after Halloween or is it at the end of the month? Like, since we don't have that here in Europe, I never know. I just know it's sometime after, uh, after Halloween. Yes, we do. We do. You were already drinking your bourbon or still the water? <laughs> is it already bourbon time? I don't know. Mouthy things, yeah. Okay, now if you want to. Both hands down here and out and in. Woo. Out and in. Out. And end of November. Okay, so it's like it's still a while to go. And now down and out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Once more. And let go. I have to let both. Yeah, both is always good, right? 
Why, why, why do you just one way you can do? Yeah, I'll let you out, Mouty. Mouty's leaving. Goodbye, Mouty. Have a nice day and see you later. Okay, nice. Nice one. We gonna keep using the ball. So now, if you don't have a ball, you can just use a chair or you can have your foot on the mat, right? You don't have to have your foot up on the ball, but what we do now is uh, bring one foot up here, right? If we do have a ball, then we're down here and uh we're pulling that leg in right oh. to do that. <laughs> in and in with this straight like pointing the foot right pointing it if you can and you could have your legs uh, your hands down here by your sides to stabilize them and just do this okay. in and out, in and out. Then hold the leg here somewhere, maybe at your thigh. If it's here, it doesn't matter. Maybe here, maybe you have a bend around the foot, which is fine too. And then you pull the other leg in and out, in and out. In and out, right? And you can of course do that without the ball. You don't have to roll that on the ball. You could just be extending and bending that back knee. Out. In and out. Wait. In and out. Now, they let that, let that leg feel like forever. If you can. Grab the inner, grab your heel. If you cannot do that, then just keep pulling that leg in a bit by bit. But if you can grab the uh, heel, then you want to move the leg out to the side, down, uh, out here. And then once you have the knee down here, you can bring the knee down like this as well. If this is easier for you, right? Just bring it down right away, holding onto the heel. and Bend and extend that leg. Bend and bend. Okay. Good one. <sighs> Dynamic stretching here today. Extend and bend. Now the next one, hold it there. And roll the other one in and out again. In and out. Or bend and extend the other one. In and extend in and in and hold that. Ah. Ooh, let go. Shake it out. Outside, really. Here it is. Ah, yeah, it's pretty. It's very early for you, still, of course. Like it's super early. Let's switch sides, right? So, gonna come onto the other side. Leg on the ball, if you do have a ball, if you don't have a ball, doesn't matter, right? And uh, then you're just gonna hold that leg here to your thigh. Wow, 4, 4 a.m. still. This is really early. And pull in. And if you can, you might be able to pull in here with your heel and then just move that leg up and down here, right? Keep it straight. Dynamic stretches. And pull. Pull. And pull. The early bird, oh yes. Now hold your leg either at your thigh or at your calf 
and then ten x ten the back leg. Yeah, but it's it's super nice. Like when you get up and then it gets then it gets like a bit by bit it gets lighter outside, right? In and out, in and out. Few more. In and out. So now, if you if you would struggle with that, you can just still be holding that leg in. If you feel like that was easy, you can move the leg out here like that to the side. Ah. Oh. 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 And then bend and extend it. If it's too hard to move it out like that, no, uh, don't worry. You can just put it here, this side, or you just stick with the other exercise. And then you bend and extend it. Bend and extend out and in out and in few more and now keep it out there and the other leg goes out and in out and in Once more, and then we hold it. And in. Ah! Check it out. Right. We come up onto the ball. We, right, we're gonna loosen or lower back a little bit. So have your pelvis and your lower back on top of the ball like that. And then you roll back and forth slightly. Like this, slightly back and forth here. And then you stay up there and you bounce a little bit. To let go of all the tension that accumulated in your lower back. Make sure like to not have your lower back up here like that. Your lower back is on top of the ball so you don't hurt yourself. Yeah, nice and peaceful, right? In the morning. Put that ball behind. And we're gonna do more dynamic stretches in a second. Um, right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom in a sec, but before we do that, let's roll our shoulders a little bit, right? Roll the shoulders back. And to the front. And then swing those arms back like that, crossing them in front, always alternating which one is crossing on top of the other one. And then up and back, up and back, up and back. So now I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm going to put on an outfit because I won't be here and I'm not going to miss anything and see you in a sec. Go to the bathroom too, get something to drink and yeah.
I am back. I am back. I hope I hope you didn't have a lot of. Uh, I hope you didn't have a lot of buffering with this stream because I just saw that the stream health was pretty bad. That apparently YouTube had some problems to receive the data. So I hope the stream was uh, okay so far, and that was just a short issue. Um, so. Dynamic stretching is still going on. Let's uh, switch stuff here, right? Let's look down from above. Let's look down from Let's change the angle here. And we're going to be splitting a lot. Trying to get rid uh yoga mat for the moment okay and you're gonna need the yoga blocks and i'm gonna put on the shoes to slide up they're better than the socks actually because this socks get kind of stuck put those on Right, you're gonna get into the side splits now, and we're gonna put on the uh, knee pads as well. Right. So, so one knee pad. And the other new pad so that we can slide out on the floor. Correctly. It is. Okay, here we go. And we want to slide out into the splits, right? So what we do here, kind of like what we did before. Uh, I, we are in a half split. And then... We slide out and in here, right? Out and in. Out and in. Dynamic stretching. So did you have any problems with the stream? Any of you that it was like uh, buffering a lot or not working properly? Or was YouTube lying to me? I just saw that when I went, when I clicked onto the YouTube page, it was like, oh, your stream is not, your stream is not healthy. I was like, how can my stream not be healthy? Like, what's that supposed to mean? And it said like, oh, we have trouble like to uh, get the data. And out and in, out and in. few more and then we're going to do the other side and out and back out and in how are you feeling? stretchy? sleepy music huh? So, like I said, on Friday, there's probably going to be like kind of a pool stream or something like that. Because uh, I will be putting up a pool in here. A few more. Um, boom. Okay. Other side again, right? Other side again. Let's do the other side again. This time, I'm not being up here on the yoga blocks, but I'm coming through the down. If you don't have yoga blocks, hi John, welcome. If you don't have yoga blocks, you can always do that. Um, you can always just do that on the floor directly, but with yoga blocks, it's kind of easier not to twist your hips open too much, right? And out, and in. And out and in. I need new ones here. They have holes in them. Let's stay out here for a moment, pulsing a little bit.
Switching sides. Ah, on the other side we have to like move in and out. In and out and in and out. Ah, oh, bam. Back in. Wait for a moment. Have a drink. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat chunky. No, don't have a Kit Kat. Kit Kat is not healthy. I mean, it's okay to have not healthy things once in a while, but. If you want to snack something, rather snack some nuts than grapes or fruit, right? But of course, everyone can snack whatever they want. Now, further down, so we started here on our yoga blocks, then we went down to that height, and now we're going further down, right? So. Out and in. Out and in. Ooh. Yes, let's go to the tavern. Listen to some good music. <sighs> What's the weirdest question someone asked you in live stream? I don't know. other side i mean it's like probably not super weird for you guys but like when people come in and they say they uh, they say like uh can i have your phone number or that they're going to write me on instagram and if i will answer them and then i'm like why don't you ask what you want to ask here what do you want my phone number for <laughs> oh well who knows uh, out and in out and in Sliding out and in again. Uh, staying out there. Uh. In. And now I'm gonna get rid of the yoga blocks. Maybe you didn't use your yoga blocks anyway. Maybe you still want to use them. If you use them, it's up to you. As always, make this your workout. But I'm gonna try to slide out like that now. I don't feel like we've made a lot of uh, progress since yesterday, but yeah, it's because I didn't stretch for three days a lot. So this can happen. Six, 625 is crazy, right? 625 videos. Ah. And a lot of them during the last year, actually, during this year. I mean, ah. Out and in, other side. Ah. and in and now let's get the mat back and do some stretching do some splits on the mat so we can take off the, the yoga blocks i wanted to say you can take off the yoga blocks yes yeah, uh, the knee pad ah ah I have so strong calves, I can't barely take them off. 
No, but they have to they have to be pretty tight because they're actually like for pole dancing. So when you yeah, use them on the pole, of course they have to be tight. So let's do let's get into the splits again here. Um, yeah, let's get into the splits. <laughs> I can slide out here. Can't hold that. Actually, I want to hold that for one minute. So let me quickly grab my phone and put on a timer, right? Put on a timer there. Um, where is it? One minute to go, more or less one minute. It doesn't have to be a whole minute. Ah. Ah. To the front a little bit. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Woo! It's all good on your end, okay. Okay. Maybe you have to reload the stream if you if you saw that just right now. Seems like it's a bit late, everything. Because I'm answering right away. It's not like I'm answering like 10 minutes later. Eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Ah! ah. Burn, bum burn. Because sometimes uh, the life is just getting stuck, and then you see the life, but you see like five. You see something that's like five minutes uh, that happened five minutes ago. Because it just keeps like running from the last point where it was like working or what, if you know what I mean. So. And out here. Other side, one minute. That side is so much more comfy. <laughs> and in the middle. And in. <clears throat> so. Boop. We've, we've did it. We've done it. So. So this is just a test thing in case that you're like back in time, right? I'm writing maybe refresh the stream now, right? And if you see me writing that in that moment with my cell phone, uh, when the miss message comes now, then you're like, then you're in the actual point. If you see that and I'm not having my cell phone in the hand and you saw the message already in the chat like a while ago, then you have to refresh the stream, right? Because then you're back in time. And yeah, hit that like button and share with your friends. Um, anyway.
I'm gonna move the cam down again. Good. Back down. <laughs> so, we are back down. Mm. We are back down now on the map. And we are going to straddle, right? So when we straddle one leg out, the other leg out, it can be a 90 degree angle at your legs, can be further apart, right? Don't worry too much about it because, um, yeah. Because the important thing is to have both legs straight and to try to have a straight back. Because if you see the mirror, like this is no good, or you don't want to have like a round back. Put your hands behind your bum and push to the front here, right? Push to the front, the straight back. Right, feeling a nice stretch in your inner thighs, hopefully. To the front. Right. Holding that. And if you can be in the front here with your hands on the mat, you can do that, right? And rotate your hips down and your bum up, but don't rotate the feet in, right? Feet stay out there and pointed. Leading with your chest. Further down, further down, further down, if you can. Never give out numbers to strangers. Yes, that's correct, that's correct. And I'm pretty sure right now that you're like back in time, right? Because if you have said that now, oh, wait a second. Because you're not hot turn truck. When did you get into yoga? Um, well, I never really got into yoga. I'm more of a pole dancing, aerial silks and acrobatics type. But I do like the yoga move uh, that you can do, like to improve your flexibility and your strength. But I started doing yoga, like the first time I ever did yoga was when I was like 15 or something. And yeah, then I did a few yoga videos and or like the yoga classes online classes like videos um on um and on youtube right and that's when it started more or less i hope any i hope you're like live now with me again right because there's like a I think when you're in the stream, you can click on the, uh, you can, uh, there's somewhere there's supposed to be a, a, but, a, a live button like on the, on the play thing, like on the right, on the left, on the left on the screen, there's any director and there you can see 
if you're like uh if if the stream is ah you're back live now are you back live uh do you hear me right now uh, am i am i sitting in a straddle right now am i holding my cell phone am i waving with my cell phone then you're live say yes you're waving with yourself <laughs> if you uh yes okay perfect perfect okay that sometimes happens on youtube and you don't like you don't realize that the stream is like back because it's like buffering or something and then it just plays on um from the last i don't know period that wasn't buffered or something and then sometimes it happened to me that i was like in some streams like 10 minutes back <laughs> so we're here to struggle and <laughs> we're moving back and forth but yeah never give out numbers to strangers and anyway like if someone's asking me on stream like uh what's your <laughs> what's your what's your phone number and i'm like uh, is that does a person think that i'm like going to share that right now on stream like with everyone and then the stream is on later and other people can look it up and uh, i don't know i don't know why people think that <laughs> oh well You just try now if you can come further down with a straight back come further down with a straight back if you cannot then you might still be back here pushing to the front right wherever you are it's perfect it's where you where you are and where you want to be so perfect up and down if you can stay down here on your forearms right Pointing those feet, maybe wiggling a little bit, and maybe we can even come. You're crazy. There's crazy people everywhere, right? Everywhere. Maybe you can come even closer down to the mat. I feel like the floor. I really don't want to touch the floor here because it's cold for my chest. So I'm gonna grab that one second. I'm gonna grab the towel here. Put it here so I can put my chest. <laughs> down there if I get down there right that is because since it's like pretty uh since it's getting cold it's not super cold but it's getting colder uh I feel like it's not that easy like to maintain flexibility because of course when we're when we're cooling when our bodies are cooling down we're not that flexible so it's important to warm up before doing stretching as well let's stay here at our lowest point which in my case is usually lower but today not that much Ooh. and up and now we haven't done that in a in a while i think let's grab the yo in a while like maybe a week let's grab the yoga blocks and put our feet up on the yoga blocks here while we straddle if you want to this might be too advanced for you. If it's too advanced, don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. Okay. This is just if you feel like you want to go the extra mile here with the straddling. Ah, take off those shoes. Annoy me. And we're not sliding in and out anyway right now, so no need to. And same thing than before, maybe you have your hands behind you and you're pushing to the front with a straight back. Or you can be in front, moving back and forth, right? Like that. Or you can come even further down. Point those feet, don't roll those legs in, right? Rather roll the bum up and the hips down. So leading with your chest, bum, bum, bum. Ooh, and now down on your elbows if you can move a bit wiggle a bit and then down 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 to your lowest point, wherever that is. Oh. And 
and up again. Legs in for a moment. Move them from side to side. If they feel like jelly, well, uh, that has happened to me before. Let's put the yoga block aside. And uh, now when we straddle without the yoga block, it's going to be easier to get down there. But, so, out, out. Right? If you were using the yoga blocks when you go down now, you will feel like, wow, so much easier. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and up. Shake it out. Have you ever met any famous people? Like, how do you mean, like, mad? Like, I have. When I was younger, I went like to places like to get autographs from people. Like not a lot, but I did that with a friend. Or I like I went, I saw some bands and stuff. But like, like met and like talked a lot. No, why, how, and when? <laughs> Ta -da! I got Pink to sign my my math book in like eighth grade. Because she was in Germany at some TV show, but like this is like I did have like how do you say so that meeting people you just go a place and she's like running around and signing stuff. Like is that meeting someone like you see them? It doesn't really make a difference like if you see them like on screen or if you see them like that because he's not really meeting someone. You're not talking to the person. So now, now. We're gonna do some exercises for feet, right? So we're here, right? And then we roll up onto the top of one foot and down. And up and down. Once more. And up and down. Other side. Up, down, up down up and down and now both feet at a time if you can if it would if it's easy for you right just if it's easy for you up and down because you don't want to hurt your feet here and five four three two one ah <laughs> these are famous to his friends yeah, this is something too, right? I'm, I'm famous as well for my, for my friends, right? So. <laughs> okay, now, um, if you have a band, use a band. If you don't have a band, you don't need the band. We're gonna do some sideline like this. Ta -da! We come into that position on our side, right? Down here. And if you have a band, you could put that band around the foot here. Or a towel. Or, or whatever. And then... You move the leg in and out. Here are our dynamic stretches. In and up. Keep the leg straight, right? And uh, first of all, you might like be going up sideways, but at some point you have to like turn the leg so that the knee is like kind of coming that way. Because if you don't do it, then you're not gonna get further up. Up. Ah. 
And now, maybe you're here and you're still pulling your leg in, which is fine, right? You don't have to come closer if you cannot. But if you have a bit more flexibility and with a band, it's even easier. You can try to pull the leg back here further, right? Pulling it behind. You could even try, right? To get through that here, right? To get through with your ah, upper body here. Make sure not to lose any hair. And then you have that here, right? Kind of like bondage and extend the other leg maybe. So, <laughs> you don't need that. You could just be holding it like that. We can do that fake split again. If you're more advanced, if you're not set up, you're somewhere here and just pulling in, right? You just keep doing that. But if you're more advanced, you might want to hold that leg to the front here. Right. Hold oh, on. And. Here, go. <laughs> Into a nice fake split. Da -da 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 -da. <sighs> and let's switch side. Right, other side, but check it out first. So, the band again. Go on to her side. Go on to the other side. And uh, then the band or a towel or whatever around that foot. And in and out. Here. And as far in as you can. And if this is as far in as it gets, well, then you're here. And you keep moving. Down and up and up. Woo! Up. You mm. more. And now let's stay on your highest point. Maybe that's here, maybe that's here, wherever it's good. Right? And if you're more flexible again, you can try to pull your leg further down here. On that side, I struggle a lot. So I feel a very intense stretch already here, which I wouldn't be feeling or which I didn't feel, didn't feel on the other side. You can extend the other leg, by the way. Right? And let's come into that fake split on that side. If you can, if you cannot, you just stick with whatever you can do. Ah, 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 ah. Woo! Woo! Here we are. Let go. Ay, ay, ay. Woo! <sighs> so, we are so close to the end, right? I think, at least. What time is it? I got, I'm gonna check. It is, yeah, very close to the end. Something we haven't done, I think, the last two days, we're gonna do it now, is the flow pose. Oh, we didn't have a stream on Monday. That's why, yeah, okay, the last two days. You did there wasn't your money, so the propose. Uh, now you gotta go sail. Okay, well, 
then see what well, tomorrow I will just be live on on Twitch doing art but on Friday I'll be back on YouTube so see you tomorrow on Twitch or uh, on Friday on YouTube thank you for your support and have a great day sail safe and uh, yeah uh, don't drink up all the bourbon we might want something too <laughs> so so Um, if you want, if you can, if you know how to get into a flow pose, this is a flow pose, right? So maybe you can get there right away, right? Uh, I wonder who wears socks in that. I don't know. A lot of people, depending on the on the uh, on the on the temperatures, right? So if you if you can do that, do that. If not, then just come up to wherever you can. And just try to get the feet down. And once you feel that you need a break, you come back. You take a breather and you do it again. And yeah. Have you ever had your band break? Like what kind of band? Like you mean if I ever had like a... Like if I ripped a tendon or something? No. But I had a lot. I did break my arm. I did... As a kid and the teenager, I had a lot of like... Broke my wrist various times. My fingers, my ankles, my toes. Right. So, well, depending on how cold it is, maybe some people do wear them in any situation. So, right, so we're here if we can, and then we shift those hips from side to side. Also depends on what you count as like socks, maybe some nice stocking. From side to side to side. Now, middle, bend the knees, tap down one side and on the other. I have something for my thought there. <laughs> Some lint for my socks. Is it called lint when it comes from my socks as well? Because it was like pink. Down and down. Down and down. Down from one side to the other and then stay on one side. And stay on the other side. Oh yeah, such a good stretch. Back to the middle. And we roll back. For example, for example, and now if you can bring the legs behind and oh, try to bring your feet together. We haven't done that in a while. Ah, oh. hello. Back and forth. Once more. Ah. Hi Jimmy, welcome! I'm good, I'm good. Ah. A bit exhausted, but well. Did my share of workout today, but I'm gonna work out more because a friend is coming around. She's coming here and we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing some pole dancing. She wants to start doing pole dancing, so I'm gonna teach her some basic stuff. Um so she doesn't have to waste money on doing classes for basic pole dancing, so That means that on Friday we might have a pole stream because I'm gonna set up the pole here and to do pole with her. So um, it, I'll probably just leave it up till Friday. So the Friday stream might be a pole stream, right? Might be, we'll see. And let's move those legs from side to side. I'll be tired on Friday though because I'll go to the park in the morning and then I'll come back and then I fall. But well, who cares? Yeah, so it will be cool. Although I will probably be super tired because I'll be doing aerial silks in the park before, but it doesn't matter. We can still do some pole. I haven't done a pole stream in such a long time. I really feel like doing one, so. Take it out. <sighs> yes, I can I do I can take it. This is not the thing, but 
maybe we won't do like super crazy stuff, but well, a little bit nice dancing is all is all really nice. So sit in a comfy position and move over to one side and then to the other side. Ah, whoo, over and over. Oh, feels good. Stay on that side, and if you cannot bring the elbow down, doesn't matter, you can have your hand, but don't have your shoulders close to your ears, right shoulders away from ears, wherever you are. And other side. Circle your head gently and the other way around. Look from one side to the other. Ears to shoulders, not shoulders to ears. And up and down. Boop, 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 boop. A couple weeks ago, I think the twinge. Nice, very nice. There was this side, like the, the cross leg stretch. Was it this one or which one was it? So, guys. Uh, yeah, this side one for the inner knee. Yeah. Okay, uh, today, this is it for today. Unfortunately, right, unfortunately, we're already done. It's already, it's already been, oh, not, not four hours, but three hours, 45 minutes. I'm gonna start to put up the pole here so my friend can come and we can work out and do some pole dancing. Then you're probably gonna see some pole dancing on Friday. Um, tomorrow there's gonna be a Arc Survival Evolved stream on Twitch in the morning. In the morning. And yeah. Thank you so much for uh, for everything, for the subs, for your time, for working out with me, for everything. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you. I see you tomorrow on Twitch or Friday here. And take care. Have a thank you. Have a uh, have a great day. Where's your Twitch? My Twitch is the same name than here. Um, my name is always Ivy Works Out. So it's just one Ivy Works Out on Twitch. So. And it's in my link tree as well. If you check out my link tree, it's there as well. So thank you, kisses for everyone. And see you soon. Oh, my knees just cracked. They're like, just like a granny. My, I have granny knees, I guess.